In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a name manager and incorporate that in the various formulas in an Excel spreadsheet. So there are cases where you need to calculate something. For example, you have this area here. And we're going to call this January expenses. And then let's say the total here would be equal sum. And then we learned this earlier. That's $900 basically. So then let's say also that we have in another spot somewhere else, we have February expenses. Now, let's say you are referencing this somewhere else in our spreadsheet across uh, multiple worksheets and things of that nature. So we learned about that in an earlier video as well. And let's say uh, for the sake of simplicity here, I'm going to try to reference them here. So I could say annual summary and I could say January. So now one way for me to represent here what the expenses for January were is by simply putting equal sign. And then of course, I could just get the total from here and just see C9. That's one way of doing it. Another way would be to do the equal sign and then add these numbers all over again. Actually, the equal sign and sum. That comes back to 900. Or another way that I want to demonstrate here is to actually say, this value here, I want to just name this as the January expenses. So that wherever I reference it throughout my spreadsheet, my complicated spreadsheet, instead of me going and finding the exact location, I could just call it by its name, January expenses. So the way to do this is basically we select where the formula is for the January expenses or the January total. We go here under formulas and then we go under define name and we call this January. Okay. You could put comments as well. And what it's saying is that it's just creating a, a quick name for this location. Just use text in there. So now we notice it says January total. Now, if we want to get the February as well, so we go here, and we click on define name. You could also use the, the name manager here as well, where you can create and edit names for the workbook. You can just rename the stuff that you have from before. We click here on define name and we call it February. So in this case, I want to use a previous name that I have. So we click on equal sign and then notice here under formulas, we have this use in formula. We could, if we know the name for it, we can just press January here and then double click on it, or you could click on using formula and it has all the other predefined names from before or for name ranges. So let's say I want January total, double click, hit enter. Then I go and pick also equal sign here and I want to get the content for February. And there it is. Now I want to get the total. The total, of course, I could calculate now this plus that since it's only two numbers, you could use a plus or you could use a sum function as well. So now I could even give this a new name if I wanted by defining the name. You say, why are we doing all of this? Well, well, the nice thing about it is that you could be on completely a different worksheet here. So let me go back to the beginning. I could be over here and let's say I want the January total. Instead of me going and finding it wherever in whatever worksheet it is, I could simply do equal sign, go under formulas, go using formula, choose January total, hit enter, it's 900, wherever it is, so it's updated. So you're basically creating these names or these pointers or identifiers for specific ranges of calculations and then applying those in other areas without having to know the exact reference for them. So it's very helpful.